What's up guys, good morning. It's March 19th, we're over here at Manila Bay Hotel. At today's date, or today, we're supposed to be at Palawan, but because of the whole coronavirus thing, we're actually stuck over here. Yeah, that's right, we were stuck all right. We were stuck in that hotel. We were staying there for about a night and at the following day, they had to kick us out because of the whole COVID mandate thing that happened in the Philippines. No hotels were, were going to, uh, to, to have tourists or anyone stay anymore due to COVID because they were all shutting down. And that's when we started to really panic. Luckily, our family from Angela City came to save us, and this is where the story continues. Guess where we're at right now? We're back in Angeles. Our family picked us up because we have no other choice. You know, if we stay in Manila, we're just gonna be wandering the streets at nighttime. So thank you to the family in Angeles. We owe you guys one big time. Mm. So we're staying at this place for tonight. It's actually right above the 7-Eleven here, which is pretty convenient so if we ever get the munchies or whatever we could just go walk downstairs and get into the 7-eleven anyway I think we're gonna head over to SM Mall to uh, go ahead and do more shopping or something like that let me show you guys something real quick so in Hawaii their ABC store has these uh, ready-to-eat spamasubis but here in the Philippines check this one out they have um, ready-to-eat shop out in 7-eleven is here he took the girls uh, first to SM Mall, then he came back for us. We're gonna go ahead to SM Mall right now and meet with the girls. We're just gonna do a little bit of shopping, get some groceries, and we're, so we can have food for a night on, the, uh, on our 7-Eleven hotel stay. So we've been chilling in this apartment right above 7-Eleven. In most cases, in most places, like the 7-Eleven right behind me, they're not gonna let you in if you don't have a face mask. So our ride is here to the Angie. Um, she's gonna go ahead and bring us over to her house. We're gonna go ahead and have some breakfast really quick. And after that, we'll be coming back and figure out what the next day is gonna be like. Hey guys, do you uh, do you remember oh, well. Mr. Wong Ling? He's back. Hey, hey. And Mr. Long Ling Jr. There you go. 
So guys, this is the food they prepared for us. A lot of food, a lot of good food, a lot of tropical food. I want you guys to check the, this one out. We got some, of course, the rice, the salmon city gun, or not salmon, it's a, uh, I don't know, kind of fish, but it's city gun. I got some mussels, chicken. I got some chicken and uh, beef adobo, bananas. All good, man. All love, all good. I'm gonna go ahead and say this first thing. I know the secret why Pinoys in the Philippines are so happy. And it's because of this. This is like the best thing ever. I swear to God, like this is, this makes me so fresh and so clean. Man. And, you, you, and you know what, it saves P toilet paper. It actually does. Like. I don't know why Americans didn't adopt this thing. This is like the best invention ever. Good morning guys, it's around 5.30 in the morning here in the Philippines. Sunrise is just right behind me. And I'm currently stuck inside of these walls. Because I can't find the key to the lock. Well. So we just got hit hard with some, with some news. So the President of the United States says that everyone who traveled out of the United States has to come back sooner now. Because he's going to shut down the, the United States. And he doesn't know when he's going to go ahead and uh, um, re reopen the borders again. So we just called Asiana to rebook our flights from yesterday to the 26th. And now we gotta call them again to rebook from the 26th to some time before that. Maybe it was a good idea to go back home a couple of days ago. Uh, so uh, this morning I was fumbling around trying to find my tripod um, and I accidentally stepped on the mic so I don't know if the mic is still working pretty well or not but this is somewhat of like a test anyway I'm outside of the house right now um, finally found the key it's like super hot over here it's maybe like around 90 degrees humid of course so right now what's happening is that my wife and my brother-in-law went to the grocery store. It's outside of this compound, so only two people can come out at a time from the address that you know that we're living in, and then they have to show proof that they're coming back, and then another two can leave. And also too is that, you know, our cousin Ray Mark has this big party going on and we can't even go to it or only two people can, can go. And it's like, man, you know, this is like our last five days here in the Philippines and we can't do anything. By the way, Raymart, happy birthday, man. Sorry that we can't be there. Wish you all the best. Hope, hopefully you guys had a good time. Um, wish I was there because I wanted to show you guys my singing skills. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I need to go out. And it's like so nice and cool inside of the house. But man, once I once I open up these doors, whoosh, <laughs> it's like 
big old punch of, ooh, man, that is hot and humid. Jeez. Anyway, our family came by. Thank you, family, and brought us some food. Check it out. This is what we needed is some good home cooking. Look at this food, though. Crab and mussels and palabok and vegetables. Man, thank you. So we finally left the house, and we moved into another house. And the best part is, is that we didn't need to have a car or anything because the house that we're staying in into now is just two houses away and it has a swimming pool. But it's not as nice in, in the inside, but, it, but the pool compensates for that. Anyway, we're gonna get things ready, maybe cook some food, and then after that, Taking a, take a dip in the pool. I don't know what that is, but it looks really old. So I let all the ladies know in the Philippines if you want to see the biggest cockroach ever come to come up. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I'm about to show you right here. Cart! What? <laughs> it's like feeding seals and dolphins. <laughs> Ew, Charles. <laughs> Ew, <stop. laughs> We're gonna follow this guy around. This guy is drunk, and when he gets drunk, he falls asleep anywhere. <laughs> I fall asleep, but I'm still awake. You see this, Woo! <laughs> America. Yeah, let you know, Philippines. 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 Angela City. Angela City. Angela Charles, Mr. Longling. Longling, you know? What's that? 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 You know, you don't know Mr. Longling. He's famous out here. Mr. Longling, I'm here. I'm Iron Man, full time in a month. What's that? Cartoon. Subtitle. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm not 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 I'm Hey! 
Guys. Hello. What are you doing? Hello, I'm yeah, capturing memories. Dapat malaman mo. Balot! 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 May asing ka <laughs> Balot! Balot! Siya! Pabili ng isang kilong asin! <laughs> Ay! Ay! Gusto mo saving? Sumi tayo! Ay, John! Sumi ka! Ano? Sumi tayo! Ah, Sumi tayo! 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 De! De! Ano sila mo yung mga ganit niya? Yeah! I got a search for you! You know, I remember a song about Balot. It goes something like this. Super one, two, three. Kami ay nagbabalot. Balot! 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 May asing gaga. May asing gaga. Pero no. Siya, pabili ng isang kilong asin. <laughs> <laughs>